What's up guys? This is Coach Tony from Elevate Yourself here with another volleyball vlog. We are about to fly out to Boston to attend the Chinese Nightman National Tournament on Labor Day weekend and this year is hosted by Austin Chinatown. On the packing list, it's pretty similar to all the other tournaments. Got my travel Tempur-Pedic pillow to make sure my neck and getting good rest. Vibrating foam roller. And actually this time I decided to bring my Hypervolt to really dig deep into my calves and my shoulders. Got my mixer for my creatine. Also some mini tennis balls to absorb some of the vibrations from the tripod. It's 6 a.m. right now on Friday, so I gotta finish packing and we'll catch you up later. So we finally made it through the security line and TSA pre-check is the best 80 bucks I've spent because even though the security line was long, the TSA pre-check went pretty fast. I was gonna look for some black coffee because I plan to fast all the way through until I get to Boston, but the line at Pete's Coffee was just too long, so I'm gonna sip on some Diet Coke so I can get my caffeine fill my stomach without getting any sugar in my body. Finally made it. I was like an hour, hour car ride with traffic and I think the hotel is like 50 miles away. Took a little nap, ready to eat some food. Get the first official tour. Welcome to the room. Whoa, king size bed, all to myself. All right, get to check out the roof and the AC vents. The bathroom, the most important part of the hotel. Super clean. And a bathtub. This is so important. I like to take a hot bath each night after the game to recover. And this is my favorite travel shirt. Sagat Muay Thai Tiger Knee Academy. That was a long travel, five and a half hour flight, an hour drive to the hotel. But I made it safely. If you guys have been following my other vlogs, usually there's something that always comes up, whether the flight's delayed or I can't get off work. During the last tournament, the New York Mini, I flew in that night at 2 or 3 a.m. and we had to play at 8 a.m. and that was brutal. I'm just feeling super, super tired and actually pretty stressed. It just feels like it's been go, go, go. So being here has been just a nice way to step away from all the stress and obligations and just focus on playing and, and hanging out with the nine man community. So I'm gonna unpack a little bit and I think the rest of the team, we're gonna get some dinner tonight, probably some Italian food. Italian food is one of my favorite pre-game foods because you get tons of carbs, fats, and proteins, which is a great way to charge up for the next day. On a side note, I've actually been fasting since last night. Probably my meal was at around 9 p.m. and I haven't eaten and right now it's 7 p.m. so three hours ahead. I don't know, you could do the math, but I've been fasting for a long time. I usually fast every day for about 12 to 16 hours as just part of my routine to stay lean and the benefits of intermittent fasting. So I'm actually really hungry and unfortunately the team's not gonna eat for another one or two hours and I can't wait anymore because my stomach's really starting to growl. Lucky for me, I collected a couple snacks. These Stroop waffles are so yummy. I love the Biscoff crackers. These are all from the airline. And I did buy this as a snack from the airport. Way too expensive, but that's just standard airport food. 14 bucks for this small bag of jerky. So I'll probably snack on these three things until dinner's ready. Got the first drink, my favorite, Shirley Temple for the kids. We got this yummy boat noodle soup. I think it's supposed to be like a really rich pork based broth. Oh, look at that noodle. I'm also gonna share a Pat CU with beef. That rotisserie chicken looks hella good. And genetic courage. Yeah, never heard of genetic courage. So, yeah. So, first thing is at 8.30. Kind of like a saw top peanuts. Pretty rich, which I like with the thick noodle. And then this is pork. Wow. Crispy edge. Try some of this past to you. Look at that. This is yummy. This is so random. There's like a random Korean mart. 
from a Japanese mart. I'm at the gift shop, got really lucky because it's about to close soon. We got Powerades, protein shakes, and all the snacks. So these are the, the free trinkets we get for playing the tournament. These are pretty sick headbands. Wow. Got so lucky with the gift store. We got beef jerky. We got Pringles just because we like Pringles. This is my dessert for tonight. I love cereal. Of course, we got the milk. We got the sour patches. Candy is one of my favorite recharges when I feel lightheaded in matches. And we got protein shakes there. Make sure that I'm recovering. Big snack pack for tomorrow. Dinner took a little longer than I wanted. We ended up being out for like two and a half hours. I was hoping just to be out for an hour because I'm tired. I wanted to foam roll and just kind of relax and get an early night's rest. But I never sleep as early as I want on tournaments just because you're having fun. But I am like, I'm actually not just physically tired. I'm, I'm socially tired. I'm emotionally tired. Teaching in the morning, coaching at night, and trying to shoot videos, it's all like just kind of giving myself socially a lot. So I'm a little drained. So I'm actually kind of lucky that we ended up getting my own room. Got really fortunate with this one because I think I just need some quiet and alone time to recharge a little bit because tomorrow I'm probably gonna meet a lot of fans, take a lot of photos, and I do try to engage with each fan, talk to them, get to know them, talk about volleyball, and just thank them for being my fan. So I gotta make sure I save enough energy for that. Unfortunately, my body feels pretty good. Probably gonna take a hot bath and stretch out, do some prehab and get ready for bed. So I got the cereal station set up. I'm debating whether I should eat both of them tonight or not. I'm really tempted to. Mix it around a little bit. Now for the taste test. Never gets old. Now it's time for my nightly supplement routine. This is the creatine and super games mix. I bring my own sugar bottle. Now if you want your own protein powder, pre-workout and creatine, I highly recommend using Upper Echelon Nutrition, which is the company that I use. Because you get 15% off with my discount code when you use Upper Echelon Nutrition. That's the best way to get an edge in your athletic performance. Do some foam rolling before I get to bed to make sure my muscles are nice and loose. Ooh, there's a tender spot right there. It's 12.20 a.m. and I plan on waking up at 7.30 a.m. So seven hours of sleep, not bad, but definitely was hoping to get eight. Still pretty tired, just exhausted from this week of coaching and teaching. So hopefully tomorrow night I'll be able to sleep a little earlier, but did take the time to get my body loose and ready to go for tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to our first game, which starts at 9.20. I'm gonna get to the convention center at eight o'clock just to do some extra foam rolling, take my time to warm up and watch some volleyball because I like to mentally get ready for the game. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.